That is, let's suppose that the United States is here producing T1 uh, textiles and B1B. If, in fact, it wants to produce one more beef beyond B1, this first beef requires that the United States give up that much in the way of textile production. If it wants to produce another unit of uh, beef, however, notice that the distance here uh, is beginning to grow. And as we move up this curve, it, the amount of textiles that's going to be given up to produce each additional unit of beef uh, begins to uh, expand until where we get up here and the cost of producing an additional unit of beef, the additional, to produce that unit of beef, we have to give up this much in the way. So as you move around this curve, uh, there is increasing, uh, increasing um, uh, marginal cost of, of beef. And that increasing marginal cost of beef is going to restrict the production uh, of beef uh, and in trade with uh, 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 China. Now here I've presented a, uh, a uh, simplified curve. Let's suppose that the United States is here at point A and it has a trade ratio of 1 to 3 or something lo looking like this. And it can in fact, uh, I mean it, its own domestic uh, trade-off is represented by the slope of this curve at this point. Well, if in fact it can get a better bargain producing with uh, China, then it can begin to move up this curve. But as it moves up the curve, there's an increasing marginal cost of, of production. And it, it may be at here at A, it has 1T is equal to 3B uh, or uh, one third T for uh, each unit of beef. But it begins to rise, and it begins to rise toward the trade uh, ratio. That is, the United States get, has to give up more and more textiles for each uh, unit of beef that it, that it produces. At some point, say point B, it can no longer justify moving further up uh, toward the specialization of beef production. And, but it can now trade at this ratio uh, here, which means it can move out on a curve that looks something like like this. And as a consequence, you might anticipate that um, uh, the country can move to a point uh, like C, uh, in which case it can have more production of both uh, goods. What we've demonstrated in this, um, in this video module is, is a point we've made throughout. Trade must be mutually beneficial, but trade can occur under the least uh, likely of, of conditions. That is a case in which uh, one country is more productive uh, in everything than another country. Now this follows that if trade is be beneficial almost everywhere, uh, then obstructions to trade can in fact uh, impair the uh, production capability of, of countries, undercut uh, uh, real income. Uh, thank you for being with me.